morning. Good morning. It's morning. It's morning. I'm Peggy. I'm Amanda. You're watching the Millcast. Yeah, it's Monday. The 29th. 29th of January. Oh boy. Do you know what happens in one month? It's the end of February. I know. Because <laughs> it's a short month. It's a short month. <laughs> yeah. But it's a leap year, and the reason I bring it up is this baby's due on March 2nd. Yeah. So, yeah. oh tick, my tick, God. Tick. Basically a month. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel it, folks. I feel it. Yeah. And you're wearing a mask. Yeah. Cody got sick this weekend, um, and I woke up just feeling like a little you know if in my yeah, chest yeah. so i'm gonna we're gonna record we're gonna catch up on a few things that happens monday morning and right then I'm and i'm gonna go home send and... you home to go to bed yeah yeah so yeah. uh but here we are <laughs> yeah i'm sorry i'm sorry you're feeling crummy it's it's been an, a weird like last few weeks yeah and i'm a generally pretty optimistic person <laughs> but it's been getting a little difficult yeah, lately it's, it's bringing you down yeah this weekend cody was supposed to do a basket weaving class right. that i bought him for christmas he was going to make a pack basket yeah those are so cool next door at uh, craft studies yeah. and then on friday afternoon we got the classes postponed until maybe april yeah. the instructor has covid it's like great we don't want to catch covid but like okay uh and then rearrange plans rearrange plans and the next morning cody woke up six was like well good thing your class was canceled anyways so yeah. we uh we had had a lot of social plans because i lined my weekend up to have a friend to come help me with Maeve because i knew i'd be alone with her all day so it's yeah. like don't come visit no dinner party no brunch plans but we did uh end up meeting this friend in Burlington and doing like the science museum. Uh, oh, good. Dave and I and left Cody to rest. So good. It was good. Good. Yeah. And uh, Todd and I jumped in the car and drove over to Conway, New Hampshire, which is about a little more than two hour drive. My my parents bought in the in 1970 an old uh, farmhouse, and uh, my dad put carpeting in the um, gray indoor outdoor carpeting in the kitchen because he had six kids and you know we were trashing the place as kids, but it's. So I never get that. Years old. Carpeting is, in my opinion, much harder to clean than a than yeah. A but gray floor. hides everything. I guess so. <laughs> anyway, we we had it pulled up and um like a vinyl wood floor put down, and it went down on Thursday, and I wanted to zip over there and see yeah. that it and it it was great. Um, so it was a that's a, little a lot bit, of a little driving. Bit, a lot of driving on Saturday, but that's okay. We wanted to save our you know Sunday afternoon. Uh, for knitting and football. some amazing <laughs> football. Holy mackerel. I'm sorry about the Lions, but um, yeah, I was in a room. We had we had a little a little football party, and Fun. I was the only one rooting for Kansas City. Everybody else was, oh, how can you be rooting? Whatever. I was thrilled to Kansas I think Patrick Mahomes is amazing. But anyway, enough about football. <laughs> um, hey, so we're, we're making some progress. Yeah, we had a really good week with the new spinner. Yeah. Uh, we... We managed to clear a bunch of hurdles that have yep. been sort of really stumping us, uh, specifically around the best ways to start and stop the machine. Right. Um, with our current spinner, we really don't stop the machine when we're doing the single ply. Right. Because if you do, it just like it just introduces a section of unevenness that you would see in the yarn. Right. It would either be like a little curly cue in the yarn, right? Um, or just you know, it'd be it would just look different than the rest, and you'd have it across all eight. All eight bobbins. Right. So, yeah. So, so you you do not stop the, the the singles. If you if there's an emergency, what we instead do is we actually break all of that yarn. We'll put all those bobbins with however much is spun aside, and we'll just start fresh on new bobbins. Right. But then you have to go in and hand splice it all when you're right. when you're but, plying. But to be clear, if if there if if one breaks. Yeah. You can you can take that and splice you know and put back in. Yeah, you can, the yeah. machine keeps running. Yeah, and the machine can, keeps running. You can pull a break on just the single right. spindle, but, but the new spinner a, the, a real big selling point to right. us was that you would be able to stop it in the middle of doing a single ply run. At all eight, all twelve, 12 bobbins, you could yeah. stop them. And yeah. we just have been having such a hard time figuring out the proper way to do this because we've been seeing inconsistencies. So it turned out that we needed a little tweak of our program. We got it figured out. Yep. And now. Now it appears that we can stop the machine I and mean, yeah. we don't intend to do this all the time but no. like it's really good to know we can stop it and it basically the rollers that feed the 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 roving into the machine and then the the spindle that's like putting the twist on they kind of ramp down right pretty quickly but in unison so that the yarn when it gets going again is going to look the same as the rest right. that's on the bottom it, it, which yeah. is like 
Woo, that's it gar- amazing. It uh, guarantees the consistency that, that we want. Yep. And then we also, um, this is really exciting news. We we did a reasonably good-sized test of, drum roll please, um, sport weight. So this is making tracks spun much lighter. So yeah. typically we spin it at 950 yards per pound, which is, you know, we get our 210 yard skeins. I'm not yeah. going to do the math on this, but it was, it's Look at that. almost twice as light. That's right. This is 1700. Yeah. And so, and you're looking at two, or, you know, roughly 50 gram skeins Correct. here. And so we think it's a little like, we, we didn't quite um, make the notes we needed to get the ply twist correct, so as we know it's a little bit overspun. This is but... a little overspun, but we will, that, that's, that's an easy fix. Yep. So um, the good news is it went through smoothly. It's, it's very on uniform. On the new spinner. On the new spinner. Very exciting. Yeah, and I think, like, the color looks very cool. I yeah. think um, we wouldn't have to tweak our dye recipes much. We could just spin what we've been right. dyeing just in the lighter, at the lighter. Uh, are we thinking of calling it something else, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we need a different name because I think it gets confusing. Uh, right, if we right. say yeah, making, can't be... making tracks DK, you know, heavy DK and making tracks sport. Right. So what, we got to come up with a name. I don't know. Yeah, sport, Throw your, wait. If you have ideas for us, yeah. let us know. Yeah, that's, that, uh, that's uh, yeah. And then we'll... It's on the to-do list to get this going into production. We ASAP. Just... We know you all want this. We, I'm actually like, I don't know. Maybe this is sad to say. It's the first time in a while we've made yarn where I'm like, I want to take that home and cast that on. Because it's yeah, just. It's going to be a very different knit. It's opened up a lot of patterns that we haven't been able to make with yeah. our yarn. So yeah. I've, you know, I think a lot of our, our, you know, audience and ourselves too are like, okay, we're sick of knitting on yeah. size six needles. Yeah, let's get going. Right. <laughs> we're ready to try some other stuff and this is going to be really cool. And what I love about this is it's still our woolly wool. It's yeah, still hundred percent it, yep. natural, non super washed wool. And yeah. we are able to make sport weight yarn with it. That yeah. is quite consistent, I think. So yeah, it looks lovely. Whew, okay. Yeah. Look out for that soon. Soon, <laughs> soon, soon, soon. But um, speaking of what we're doing in the mill, I know when you go, oh, oh, more gray, but this, again, this is a case of, I'm sorry, you can't feel this. Give this a squish. Ooh, I haven't had a chance to squish it yet. Yeah, it's isn't really it yum? Nice. I expect nothing less from uh, Meadowfed Lamb. <laughs> this is Meadowfed Lamb, Rachel and Matt. Um, they have a, a white and a gray. We've done the gray. The white's on deck. And, and this it, is thin. This is thin, and it just feels like a million thin bucks. Thin is such a special fiber. It just, yeah. there's something about it that is like, it's very different from other fibers. Right. And this has just a little bit of their targi. Oh. Yeah. That, this so just that's a, giving it the loft. That's, yeah, that's okay. what's giving it the, the spongy bounce. This. Um, yeah. yeah. The, the lovely thing with Finn is it's like, it's fine and mm-hmm. it's it's got a decent wave to it, um, but it, it's the fineness just makes it so, so soft. It's it's, it's just lovely. And, I, and, and I, shiny, too. It's got There's a little luster. bit of luster to it. Yeah. And. <clears throat> they um, Meadowfed <laughs> Meadowfed Lamb Rachel was at Wayland uh, the weekend before last, and at the end of the festival, you know, I was kind of going through, and I look at her, and <laughs> she has a, her her booth right. And there's like three skeins sitting on this empty table. Because people know what is good yarn and right. they're snapping and, and, it up. And, and she's like, yeah, this is all I've got left. So we're, we're anxious to get her their order finished. So And we're excited yeah. uh, that they continue to choose the mill and trust yeah. us with it. It's beautiful, beautiful stuff. So yeah, that's good. That's awesome. It looks like it's almost like a worsted weight. Oh, it's beautiful. It's... Beautiful. So, so, yeah, so um, how are you doing on your knit along? I did, made a lot of progress. I can't remember where I was last week. So. Well, you had done the um, Besher, what's the B? The oh, beam you, stitch. The beam, beam stitch. Okay, I've cast off part of it. Oh, wow! Yeah, so that's how far I made it. I have my one side with the twisted rib is done. Okay. And I'm just uh, now starting the the other side, back or front, whatever you want to call it. Oh, wow! Which is which. So, um, yeah, it's just a simple twisted rib, you know, yeah, you're knitting hold it up through... so we can see the colorway. So what, what did you do it in? Uh, so it's pumpkin patch right. with the Rombole Jacob yeah. blend and it is really lovely. I'll say I was surprised. I think I did an extra round of making tracks here. Cause she says you can kind of go as long as you want on this last right. section. I still had this much left. Oh, wow. So I think it's cause I knit the, the, um, I knit the 
cowly part uh, with size sixes before I moved right. to my seven. Right. I had a good amount left. I was not anywhere near playing yarn chicken um, with this one. So. But could you have just kept going till yeah, you yeah, ran? Yeah, yeah, I could, yeah. I could have. But I liked the length of this. I thought this was sufficient. Yeah. But so I expect to be done with this pretty soon. Excellent. Yeah, and I want to say a shout out to my mother-in-law, Natalie, for making it through the beam stitch. That is a complicated stitch for a relatively new knitter, and she successfully did it. That's, so, that's great. And I think that is uh, also thanks to Erica's great videos, too. Yeah, her videos are very clear. Yeah. I'm, I'm not where you are at. Um, yeah, where, how far do you make it? I, well, uh, I made some good progress, though. So I am doing it in Zinnia and Constellation, Ooh, so you can I sort of see this, how this colors your go. Your beam stitch part looks gorgeous. So I, um, do I have it with me? Oh, darn it. Oh, so this is, I still have a fair amount, but I've got some knitting still to go. Yep. So this beam stitch. Yeah. Just, uh, I'm going to show it to you. It's, what makes it tricky is you've got a, you've got seven yarn overs that you need to pick up and knit into one stitch. And I realized I had a crochet, but what I also had was, and I didn't bring it with me, I'm sorry. It's like an oval and it's called Knit Caddy or Knit something, and it's got a measuring tape in it, and it's got um, a way to check your what size your needles are. Yep. And on the outside, it has, it's it's a crochet hook, but it's intended to pick up stitches that are dropped. Huh. So on one end, it's, a, it's, it's curved. On one end, it's kind of a fat crochet hook, and on the other end, a really skinny one. Oh, cool. So what I was able to do is take the skinny end and weave it through the seven without any problem. Yep. Like I wasn't fighting to get the crochet hook book yep. because I had a skinny one. And then yep. I and then I, I had the fat end to pull the, the stitch through. That's cool. Um, you should, uh, do you know who makes it? Can we link it in um, the show notes? You know what? I, I, yeah, I'll, uh, it's, it's it's like a knitting caddy. It's it's very easy. I just have it in my other bag. But yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll give you the link to it. So I made some good progress because there was football on. Yeah, I don't know what really I'm going to do uh, when there's no football. <laughs> But I'm really liking how the zinnia changes. And the constellation has some variation, but not a whole lot. Yeah, but it, it makes a, an interesting effect because you see the really, like, the blues up here. Right, and then, then it gets a little pale. Yeah. And, oh, I think it looks great. Are you going to block yours? Oh, definitely. And yeah. You, okay. I think it really needs it. Yeah, because it, it, it gets a little puckered, so I'm looking forward to yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The blocking is going to yeah, be Yeah, and I did mine all the, on sevens all the way. So definitely okay. I have a, a looser... Yeah. Uh, neck than you than yours has. Yeah. Um, but you're right. Uh, Erica's videos. Tremendously helpful. Yeah. 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 Very. And, cool. and um, I wonder in another life if if she was an instructor or teacher because her voice is very calming. She like anticipates. Now you may be struggling and you're at home going. You bet I'm freaking struggling. <laughs> and you want to get agitated just. And it's okay because I'll show you another way if you're struggling with that. You're you're like okay. I'll She's calm got down. It. She's got it. I'll calm down. Yeah. yeah. So thanks, Erica. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, I'll, I'm going to, I think by next week I should be done, I think. Yeah, me too. Um, I'm not traveling. I'm, yeah. So that's that. Well, uh, we have a few exciting events this weekend. Yeah. Kind of a back-to-back -back, uh, come to the mill events. The first is on Friday. We're doing our first open house of 2024. We skipped January. Yeah, I got in early this morning. I was like, first thing I got to do is put our little sandwich yeah, board yeah. out there with a open house Friday. Yeah, so if you want to come in person and see the mill, that is the very best time to do it. So yeah. it'll be Friday from 3 to 5 at the mill and should be good stuff we'll yeah. have our all of our retail uh that's sort of behind us yeah, uh, we'll, set up in the in the mill portion and yeah. we'll be running tours of the equipment you can see our new spinner yeah um so that'll be fun and then on sunday we are going to have our slot with the new was oh gosh i can never remember the name the new england farm and fiber yep. festival yep okay so it's a virtual festival that we are gonna jump on at 2 p.m. on Sunday, and it'll be a tour of the mill, and then I'll be presenting various featured yarns. Right. Uh, but the thing I really wanna let you all know about is it's really worth your while to tune in. We're gonna do a special discount code that you can only get if you tune in to the festival live. Right, do, can I, if you tune in, do you have to do it through Instagram? Yes, so you go to Instagram, You'll either follow if you're following us or the the festival. You'll see up at our at the lot, you know, where the stories are. Okay. At two p.m. there'll be like a special looking like 
border around our icon that will show that we are live and you'll click on that and you'll see it we've never been live on instagram have we no so yet, yet again something new let's yeah, you know, we'll why see not we'll goes. try it yeah so um it'll be cool we've done this event in person a couple right. of times down at the boston public market and this is i think the first time they're doing it virtually yeah and yeah. you know we'll see how it goes but the the exciting thing is rather than just come see our yarn and our stuff for sale you'll get to actually see the mill so if you're not right. local and you can't make it to our open houses and you want to be on a live and, and i think you're able to ask questions and stuff like that while while you're there um we can you know show you around yeah. well you're, you're saying we all this time you're, you're solo on this i am but we always say we the mill yeah well i'm making a point of that because i'm going to be with my three grandkids my three grandsons three and a half Great. one and a half and by then will will be almost three months yeah so as yeah. long as the baby stays inside through the weekend we'll oh, be doing on. it <laughs> okay then i will step in nah then we just will cancel <laughs> Oh, Emergency. Well, no, 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 we'll see. Because uh, one of the reasons they're coming over is that Emma, the three and a half year old, wants to ski, and Grant oh. and Grand Todd—that's what Todd's name is. Yeah. Grand Todd loves to ski, and so we're going to whale back nearby and take, taking Emma Fun. skiing. Yeah, yeah. That'll be great. So you, you'll do the virtual while we're. Uh, yep. And you know how that's going to work. I'll be amazed if ever Emma lasts more than an hour, maybe ninety minutes, and it will all be on the promise of there'll be cocoa. <laughs> a cup of cocoa on the other oh, side. Oh, you guys will have good fun. Yeah. Well, thank yeah. you for tuning in to our short and sweet episode. I'm yeah. going to go get some rest and hopefully not yeah. get any sicker. Yeah, and feel better. <laughs> thank you. Oy. All, All right. right. Take we'll see care. Ya.